and I thought it was I think I remember Comanche. When you fired a, a, a missile, the camera in the little corner actually was on the nose cone of the missile, and you could follow and track the missile. Redeemer. 8876 did that. You could fire a missile, then you could... Interstate 76 had it where you fired a missile, a homing missile, and you could switch to the camera on the front of the missile. And I was like, oh my god. Cool thing. I just talked to, uh, to one of the... a kid I grew up with the other day, and the, the first game I truly, uh, you know, fell in love with and just had to play all the time was uh, x -Wing. And I just looked up some uh, YouTube video footage of it, and I would say it's been 15 years since I played the game, but as soon as I saw, like, the first image of it load, it, it came all back to me. And, man, I wish I could, like, you know, run a, a virtual machine for, like, Windows 3.1 right now and, like, set that back up. <laughs> I recall it being, um, well, I imagine the cracking methods were, were pretty intense these days, but back then I had a copied version of the game, and what the game yeah. did was when you loaded it up, it asked you for a word that was on a certain page of the instruction manual. So, although I had a, co a illegal copy of the game, I had to also copy the instruction manual from the friend who gave it to me. <laughs> I, I used to think that was pretty cool. Oh man, uh, Monkey Island, uh, Monkey Island, System Shaw, oh, this type of graphics goes for that. Apogee had about 30 games like this. Not like this, I mean, graphically like this. Well, you did get kind of really excited about nostalgia. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> Who doesn't? I got a semi going on. 